Hey everyone, it's Jake with Lax Weekly. Today I'm going to be doing a part 2 of the top 5 best lacrosse dodges you can do. These are more advanced dodges than the first 5 and I'll show you exactly when to use them and what kind of players will find them most effective. I'll also tell you current college and pro players who do these dodges really well so you can go study their film. If you haven't already watched my first video about dodging, I'll link to it down below so you can go check it out since a lot of what I'll be talking about today is building off that. Whether you're a beginner or advanced player, I think you'll get a lot out of this video and you should take notes and re-watch the video multiple times to fully grasp everything. Before we start, would you mind if I sent you an email each week with film breakdowns and drills to become a better lacrosse player? If the answer is yes, please go join the LAX Weekly email newsletter down in the description. Almost every week for the past month, it's doubled in size, and it just makes me so happy seeing all the positive feedback you guys have been giving me. Now, let's get into the video. So starting at number one, we have the Hitch Dodge. This move is a counter move to the Face Dodge, which we talked about in the first video, and it's absolutely lethal when done the right way. When your defender is running at you, you plant your foot down like you're about to do a face dodge, but then you quickly explode upfield instead of bringing the stick across your face. The defender is going to be completely thrown off and you'll have your hands free for a shot. Just like the face dodge, the hitch dodge is most effective when you're off ball. When you catch the ball from your teammate, the defense will start running towards you. When you hitch, it freezes the defense and buys you time to move upfield and score. So, at the beginning of the game, throw a face dodge like you would normally. The next time you get the ball, do a hitch. Your defender's going to be so confused and not know what to do the next time you catch the ball. That's why counter moves are so effective. It just leaves the defense guessing. Every offensive player will love this move. It doesn't matter how big or small you are, this is one of the most proven dodges out there. The next time you go watch a college lacrosse game, notice how people are scoring. I can almost guarantee that at least one goal will come from a hitch. If you want to look at someone who does it really well, midfielders like Diemer Klass or Tom Schreiber are excellent. The number two dodge is another counter move called the Rocker Dodge. This is one of my all time favorite dodges, and it's one that every offensive player should get down cold. The Rocker Dodge is simply a fake roll dodge, so it's a counter move to the roll dodge. Think of dodging like a one two punch. You throw that first punch with the normal roll dodge, and then the knockout with the Rocker. If you really like the roll dodge, you're really going to like the rocker dodge. So to do this dodge, start out just like you do an inside roll. You drive up towards one side of the cage and plant your foot like you're rolling underneath. But as you're about to do that roll dodge, quickly plant back upfield. Your defender will be completely out of position and you can turn the corner and finish. Like I said before, the best time to throw this move is when you've already done an inside roll. Even if you didn't score on that inside roll, just the fact that you tried it means the defender will think you'll do it again. So when you go to do that next inside roll, your defender is going to get lazy and automatically be out of position. That's when you cash in and do the rocker step. I always think of the rocker step just like a post in basketball. They're trying to get their defender to commit to one side and then they just go the other way. Honestly, the inside roll and rocker step could be the only two dodges you ever use in a game. Big physical attack men will love the rocker dodge, as you can use your size to really throw your defender off balance. Pro lacrosse players like Matt Rambo or Dylan Malloy love this move. Next up at number 3, we have one of the sickest and most underutilized dodges in the sport, the question mark fake. We talked about the question mark in the first video, and now we're talking about its counter move, the fake question mark. To do this dodge, you're going to start exactly like the question mark. Drive up towards one side of the cage, step out and around, and as you're about to shoot, throw a little pump fake and just pause. If you did it right, the defense will start running towards the end line like you shot the ball, but in reality, you have it right there in your stick. The question mark fake is one of the most impressive moves out there, and it's really not that hard to do. It always confuses me why people don't utilize this move more. If you do a regular question mark just one time, I guarantee the defense will have no idea that a fake is coming next. Even if you sail the shot wide by 20 yards, the second time you turn around, they'll think it's a shot. Then when you fake it, you'll have room for days to shoot and score. If you want to see someone who does it best, look no further than attackman Rob Pinnell. Next up at number 4, we have the bull slash speed dodge. This is about taking advantage of your physical abilities. 
If you're lightning quick, sometimes it's best not to think too hard about dodging. Just use your speed to run past your defender and score. The best example of this is Jordan Wolf. This guy is one of the best attackmen in the world, and also one of the least complex dodgers, because he doesn't have to be. He simply uses his ridiculous speed to sprint past defenders. Every fast attackman should pour over as many Jordan Wolf highlights as possible. I don't think there's anyone else as close to as good as him in terms of speed. And then there's the bull dodge. This is when you take advantage of the fact that you're a big man and bully your defender with your shoulder, almost like a running back like Marshawn Lynch would do in football. You gotta play to your strengths, and the bull dodge is all about that. Look at a guy like Matt Rambo. He's a highly skilled player, but many of his goals are just scored by him bullying his defender around. There's no special footwork, it's just leaning in and getting physical. Another great bull dodger is Sergio Perkovic. The guy constantly leans in with his shoulder, steps back, and shoots. If you're not extremely fast or big, don't worry, I have the move for you. At number 5, we have the finalizer. This is one of the most deadly moves in lacrosse. The finalizer is all about taking advantage of that little triangular part at the back of the goal. It can trip up defenders and get them out of position if you play your cards right. To do this move, you start by doing a split dodge at X. As you're going up one side of the cage, roll back and drive up the other side. But right as you cross that little triangular piece of the goal, you do a split dodge back towards the side you were originally going to. If you time it right, the defender will be tripped up and you'll have an easy way to score. The finalizer can be used by anyone because it's more about footwork than raw speed or strength. My man Joey Epstein from Johns Hopkins is one of the best at doing the finalizer and dodging at X. Go watch countless Johns Hopkins highlights from last year where he would tear up defenders from behind the cage. So my first top 5 dodges video was all about the essential moves you need to learn. And now these are the 5 essential counter moves to those dodges. Having go to moves and counter moves is going to make you a significantly better dodger and leave your defender guessing what you're going to do next. Like I said earlier, if you're looking to become a better lacrosse player, I do even more stuff like this all the time in my last weekly email newsletter. It will always be free to join and it will help you improve rapidly. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support, it's making me so happy. Feel free to subscribe and let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you next time.